I'm gonna be asking people on the street about um, Trump's transgender ban. Do you feel that the transgender military ban is fair? No, I do not. No, it's not fair because what I don't get what the issue is. It's just how they identify. What does that have to do with what they're capable of in the military? No, not to anybody. Just because you shouldn't have to worry about what somebody's gender is. Honestly, I think it's messed up that he's doing that, but I kind of don't care at the same time only because, you know, I'm not really interested in the military. I don't have the same views for it, but I still think that it's not right that he's preventing them from fighting for our country, you know? So I'm kind of mixed about it. No, we think it's unfair because uh, People are who they are, and uh, you can ban someone because he's, he's a, trans, a transgender. Um, I woke up that morning, and it was my birthday, and it was a horrible, horrible thing. It was your birthday? Do you think it should be legal to fire transgender members who are already in the military? No. No, not at all. They're people. No. No. If they're doing their job and doing the right thing, no. They're let them have their job. No, I do not because they're serving for this country and they make up, as I said, 15,000 currently in the military mm -hmm. and they're doing what I feel like is their duty, especially in America, we say that it's our duty to, to protect and to serve and then to automatically say to the population, the general population, that you can only serve if you're this way. I think that's just, that's not fair because we can't do that to anybody. If you can't, again, if you can't do it in the workplace, you shouldn't be able to do it in the military. No. No, right. They're doing something that I know I could never do. Um, they're willing to sign up to die for our country, and I know that I could never do that. So I want a person that wants to do it, able to do it. And regardless of who they are, what they have between their legs, or what they identify um, in their mind, and just allow them to do what they want to do. Do you think that the policy, don't ask, don't tell, should apply to transgender individuals? Yes pretty much like it's I don't know this question is like weird because it's like if someone let's say someone who is transgender wants you to like it is wants you to know and like also wants you to know their pronouns etc like then like they're comfortable like let them know but like if someone isn't comfortable with it then like it shouldn't they shouldn't have to be forced to like explain that no because I don't think that being transgender or being gay or being anything really conflicts with the job and what you have to do. I, I don't think that your sexual orientation has anything to do with holding a gun. No, because I don't think don't ask, don't tell is a good law in and of itself. I think don't ask, don't tell should go away. People should be truthful about who they are and the military t should accept that and allow them to be who they are. No, uh, no, no, no. I think it should apply for everyone, regardless of their gender, sexual orientation, anything you know because I feel like in a way it's kind of discriminative no. towards everyone I'm sorry I'm so sorry finish that thought. <laughs> what finish that thought. oh no I finished already awesome keep him away back off <laughs> this is mad so what do you think is gonna happen to the transgender people that are already in the military they might get kicked out that would suck. Yeah, it would. Um, but I don't know. Maybe something more would happen. I don't know. I feel like Trump will probably like cut like their veteran like pay. So yeah. All right. Well, let's say someone who is transgender was already having a hard time. They'll like let's say like individuals there like giving them a hard time. They'll probably get even more of a hard time. But like. People would try to like find that as an excuse to like bully them even more, and yeah, uh, and I don't know if like if, if it's like nothing, if it's like like apparently like nothing is actually gonna happen because it's just it sounds so outrageous for this guy to just type something on Twitter and then all of a sudden it'll come true. Like no, nothing, nothing serious is gonna happen, but I feel like more bullying would occur because of like the Trump effect and all of that. Feeling bad and maybe uh, 
like um, the government uh, betrays them because right. they serve for the country and now uh, they are turning on them. Well, it looks like the generals um, that Trump said he consulted with aren't too happy with that um, tweet that he put out, which is tweet by policy, which is bullshit. So um, I believe that the transgender people that are currently in the military will continue to serve and they will continue to follow the um, rulings of the Obama administration that allowed for transgender people to openly serve. And I believe that that's really the way that this country should be going. Well, I think that it's dis not only is it disrespectful to them because they serve their country, but I also think it sends a message that we're not going to tolerate or be tolerant to people who are different than us. And I also think that we're already in a state politically where people don't want to serve, especially under our current president, and we don't want to end up having to draft again because of the lack of people wanting to actually join the military. God bless this country. God bless America.